What do you think of race preferences in dating? Like people not being attracted to one race or only one? Is this racist? Um, oh, this is this is our uh, ice cream truck. It's also the clap song. Also like, oh, no, no, no. So, um, no, it's pretty fucking easy. Um, I don't think there is. I mean, it's similar to to the question that we had about like um, different sexualities and or different genders, right? Mm. Like. It's not about where where they come from or what race they are. It's for it's as long as they are attractive to us in our own sort of way. So for me, it'd be more like stereotypically attractive, right? For Rome, would be filthy you know. monsters. <laughs> <laughs> also, obviously, this is all together with the personality. So um, I think you would be fine. You would find it very difficult to find anyone that is not overtly racist that wouldn't find people of a different race or their own race or whatever attracted yeah. to people there. Yeah. Race so preferences was- race preferences in general, if you are feeling that like uh, if you're a white person and you feel like you're only attracted to white people, I would that is something that needs to be unlearned that is a product of, of racism. Fact. Like I do not believe that there is no one who isn't white that you don't find attractive. However, if you're a POC and you only want to date POCs because white people are shit to you, go full ahead. Like, definitely. Like, there are reasons to not want to date someone of a different race that to do with safety and security and general, like, historic mistreatment. It's like, same as certain genders. For but, sure. But, like, yeah, there is no justification a white person has for finding every single person of every single other race unattractive. Are you fucking serious? You know how many people there are? You know how many hotties there are? Yeah. It's just nonsense. I mean, again, talking about, like, unlearning behavior or whatever, like, um, sure, like, there is, there is, like, the fear of the unknown, right? You just, like, as I was also mentioning in previous shows, like, I haven't seen a person of color until I was 15, you know? And then I've seen a couple of them while I was in Britain for three weeks, and then I came back here when I was 17. So, obviously, like, it was, it took a while for me to unlearn behavior of, like, othering as such. And to be like, oh, that's something or someone that I just I just don't know much about. So whether that would be fear or fetishization, yeah. all at the same time, right? So, um, but we're not denying that doesn't happen. We're denying we're saying that that is something that you go through a process to make happen less. But that happened to me, and I was able to do that. Mm. I'll go back. I go to my relatives in Russia, right? Like they're racist, is what is, and it's sad because they're Tatars, they're Muslim, you know, and they're yet like I I know that if I were to bring a POC partner they wouldn't be down for that and they would probably not see or not okay not openly say that they find anyone of a particular race attractive yeah and that's really dark i mean again it's for me it's sad for them because they're like ignorant and they only see people like them and and so they live a very limited life you know and and it's it's heartbreaking for them uh not that i pity them that much um but, but but I mean again not to say that these sort of dichotomies exist but from, from our point of view yeah. is that like yeah but that's precisely it but those those relatives of mine they're racist yeah and I think the question just doesn't really make sense to me like what do you think of rape presence in dating like people not being attracted to one race like I just don't understand what that question means like not no. being attracted to a race like, <laughs> like what like I'm not attracted to him because he's I'm not attracted unattractive, to you. I'm not attracted to her because she's unattractive to me. Yeah, exactly. But like, 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 I'm not attracted to most. Yeah, I'm white. I'm not attracted to most white people. Yeah, like, yeah, like I'm only attracted. Of yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna shag. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. So I'm only gonna shag this like very particular yeah. amount of of the whites. Such, yeah. You know, it's and just, so uh, like, I understand why this question is being asked, but like, all we can say is like. I don't understand that point of view unless it is coming from racism and I think most of the time to have that point of view it is coming from racism whether like subconscious or conscious and like but then again we just said like oh I wouldn't shag like 90% of, of the whites which I also like kind of like think of but then again you know perhaps but that's like based on aesthetics right but if, what if they're fucking amazing and this and this and that you know like and then so you probably fucking will or something yeah then I would yeah, yeah, so, but, okay, I'm coming from, again, from, like, a sort of stereotypical who I find, like, for me, the number one thing is 100%, like, if I find them hot. Yeah. And then I will find out whether they're, like, kind or not. But that's finding, like, but finding <laughs> someone hot is definitely something you can change, like. No, but that's not to do with race. That's no, to do, not to do yeah, with race, that's but to do with can attraction. Be. Like, if you find that you're never finding a person of colour hot, that is, I think, a race 
a racism I just issue. Think that, how is that? How can it be real? <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. Because you're you're you've been taught, you've been socialized into thinking this is attractive and who I should be going for, and this is not. Like for example, I'm one of those queer people that I actually wanted to be into women, and I like decided to be into women, and like. But, but, but that's I wasn't literally born this the same, way. The same conversation that we had about like what I said is that like. the reason why I don't think I'm that straight because I think of like the ugliest man and the most beautiful woman and yeah. I would definitely shag the most beautiful woman right exactly. or not even the most beautiful but the ugliest like I'm now using those sort of dichotomies just to illustrate the point here but um, I think it's the same with I don't know kind of races or uh, mm. people I don't know. You know, it's just it's so sad it's 2019 we're having to have this conversation uh, yeah we know we live in London bubble and many people don't necessarily live in a space where you do get to see all different shapes sizes sexualities yeah but like you said we're not saying that. that like having an immediate response to something you haven't seen before can't be shocking or no, this or this it can be but you can and you should put the energy into unlearning that and like fucking google hotties from every race and you will oh, wear yourself oh god Stop like, it, I'm honestly like, yeah. I'm a few drinks in, I'm already like, yeah. just thinking about it. Yeah, me too, <laughs> no, me but, too. Now I'm fe- but maybe I'm fetishizing now, right? I don't think so. Like, maybe I am. Why is it, is it only yeah. fetishizing if it's a person of a, like, a normal white person? But, like, I suppose there is that whole discourse around that, as such, uh, that one would be, but it's just because it, I know I'm white, more than aware of that, um, and then, I guess, if I'm thinking of, like, should I be attracted of people of different races, then I think about people of different races, so. I don't think it's fetish I think it's just like the topic at hand. No, no, I just I, like I'm just I've just got Idris Elba running around my head right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, keep running, baby. <laughs> uh, fuck it, Michael from Love Island, like yeah. bring it. <laughs> but um, so so but that's um, I met Idris Elba in a pub once. I didn't actually meet him, but I was in a pub and he came in and I texted my friend being like, I think you're in the same pub as Idris Elba. If you don't know it, just he's a sexist man alive. And then he sat down with these he's two women. He's a liberal, though. So I know, but I... he sat down with these two women, and they were both really into him. And he, you know, he's engaged, he's getting married. His wife is also gorgeous. Like, fuck them both. But um, I would fuck them both. <laughs> but I, yeah, oh my God. One of the best days of my life. It was like just after I just moved back to London. And I was like, this is what London's going to be. <laughs> and then I have not met any other hotties in pubs since. But such is the will of God. Yeah, no, but... That- I just I'm just thinking of Hollywood hotties in my head, yeah. just like all all everyone all of them. Yeah. yeah. White, black, brown, Asian. Yeah. All, all, yeah. Taking out. 